Hi, welcome to Smile Japanese Vehicles. Today I'm going to give you a quick rundown on some of the features of the auction database. So first of all we go to the website smilejb.com then we log in on the auction member login button on the left. Go into the current Japanese auctions put in our login and password and it takes us into the current auctions. So there's about 49,851 cards available now. Let's do a search for a, uh, a Corolla filter, a Toyota Corolla filter and a 2001 model. So it's telling us that there's, a, there's 27, a car, 27 fielders available now in the 2001 year. There's actually 354 overall. If you have a look at this, the second one, we've got the auction house, USS Tokyo and the lot number on the left. We've got the auction date, the year, the engine size, the chassis ID, the type of car. This one's got 41,000 kilometres. It's a grade 4 car and just over near where my mouse is now in blue it's going to tell us the estimated average price so for this car that's saying that the average price or the expected price is around 415,000 if we look at the photos we can see it looks very good but it, we, we, we can't tell a lot just by looking at photos what we really need to do is look at the, uh, the auction diagram and as you can see this car is very clean very little markings on it. It's a exterior grade 4, the interior is a grade B and it's extremely clean. There's an A which is a small scratch on the front underneath the front bumper and there's a few little A2's it looks like at the back. So that's a very clean car and that's probably gives us a good indication on why it's going to sell for 415000 which is quite a, a high price for this car. If we have a look at the one underneath it, it's an R grade it's got 59,000 kilometres and they're saying that they're estimating that this one's going to sell for 163,000 yen which is quite a big difference. If we have a look at the auction diagram which is slightly different because it's a different auction house we can see why. The front panels are all marked by XX so they've been replaced so this car's had a front end accident. There's also a large scratch A3 and a reasonably large bend B2 on the front. There's a large scratch on the roof. There's a chip in the windscreen by a net marked by a G. And on the back there's a, a U2 and a B3 which are some bends. So there's probably had a small accident or some small dents in the rear. Uh, the B3 is actually quite, quite a, a large dent. That, these would certainly be noticeable. And also on the, on the rear left of the car we've got some bends. So that's why that car is a lot, lot lower in price than the one above it. We've also got some information about how you can read the auction sheets. If you go to the auction info section, auction grades, we've got an explanation of what the different grades mean. You can also see further down the page we've got the codes. So an A is a scratch, a U is a dent, and XX means parts exchanged. Then it, it gives us um, basically what an A1, an A2, an A3 means. So that's a minor scratch in A1, 2 to 3 centimetres. An A2 is getting bigger, it's less than 10 centimetres. An A3 is, is a large scratch uh, over or, or 10 centimetres and above. And these apply to all of them. So if you had a U, that would be a dent. A U1 would be a smaller dent, a U2 would be a bigger dent, and a U3 would be a, a larger dent, and so on. So it's fairly simple. If you have a quick read of this, you'll be able to pick it up very quickly. And you will know what you're buying because you can see all this. And as you can see with the pictures, we can't see a lot by looking at the pictures alone. I hope this helps.